Abdas Samad Al Yazidi, who is the General Secretary of the Central Council of Muslims in Germany, and he joins us now live from Frankfurt. Uh, first of all, your reaction to this newly released video. I have to say that I was really shocked when I saw this video. It was it's not the first time that we see that we have a structural racism problem in our uh, in our uh, uh, security security agencies and in our uh, in our country. We know that that not all police departments are supporting some kind of racism, but we we to to have trust in our security and safety systems in in Germany and in our government. We need that we have studies to know how much and how deep is this kind of racism uh, happened in, in happened in Germany. We had in the past we heard we heard a lot of stories about uh, racism. Uh, right groups in the police departments, and we are uh, very, very, very afraid that the authorities who are uh, in charge to give us safety and give us security, that such people are uh, using uh, their, their racism ideology in this kind, like we saw in this video today. And the attack, that punch took place last year. Um, why has this video only been released now? Yes, it's, it's always the same, that, that uh, the structures does not uh, show what is happening in, in these organizations, and we need uh, some kind of control, and we need that our government, uh, that they need to have uh, possibilities to know very early when such things are happened, when such ideologies are trying to 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 be spread in 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 our in our uh, uh, security and safety and safety organizations, so uh, it's it's very necessary that the government uh, will take the necessary steps that such things will not happen again. Happen again. We had very we had we had too much too much points in the last years, and it's the time to say, stop, we have to use our, the, the frame now. Thank you so much, Abdassamad Samad Ali Yazidi, for speaking to us today on TRT World.